Welcome to the PFO channel. I'm Jim. You may have seen my earlier video where I pulled wire inside the travel trailer and hooked up uh, basically a shore power type connection inside this back cargo hold so that I could power the whole travel trailer from my EcoFlow Delta Pro. Well, this system works well and we've used it a lot since then, but I'm always looking for ways to improve on stuff like this. One of the drawbacks on this system is the way that these cords plug in. Prior to putting this installation in, I never really paid much attention to the orientation of the prongs on the ends of these cords. Every one I've ever found has the heavy cord coming up and the prongs 90 degrees and the round ground pin is always at 12 o'clock and the two flat spades are always at the 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock-ish positions. The problem with that is this heavy cord comes off the bottom of the unit and has to turn sharply to get around to the side here. Now this is the smallest end I could find on one of these cords. Some of the other types that have a big yellow thing with handles on there, they're easy to plug and unplug, but there's just no way those would work because the length of the over-molded end on it is taller than the space available between the bottom of this unit and that plug. Ideally, I'd be able to plug this thing in 90 degrees like that or in some cases even upside down but i'd certainly settle for 90 degrees then the cord could easily come around the front of this thing and not have to bend sharply uh, going right up the top would be nice too because then i could come up the top and around as it is i have to plug that in and then gently put this thing back in there and make sure that that cord is routed without kinking. Once I get it in there, it's not so bad, but that cord really would be better if it was coming off at an angle off of that bottom. So I went looking around trying to figure out what I could do about that. And I found this piece here. It's a replacement end for a cord like that with a 30 amp RV style plug on it. And I see that it's got the three screws here to pull that out and attach the wires and then the clamp for the part going in the handle. And I thought, well, I wonder if I took these things off, if there's something preventing me from just turning that one step out of the way so that the handle comes off this way. So I figured it was worth ordering one up and taking it apart and, and seeing how it's put together inside and see if I can clock that. I guess it would be 120 degrees from where it is right now. But I'm gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, I got the three posts in there with space behind them. And just the straight on the back type of connectors, that's good to see. If they came in around the edge, that would be more difficult. So they go straight in the back and then these set screws to tighten them up. Ah, I see, there's a notch right here and a little fin right there and that's what would be preventing me from okay this is the normal position the next available spot would be like this except that that notch isn't letting me go there but if I could get it to go together in this orientation then it would go in like this on the Delta Pro and that would be pretty sweet you know what would even be better though I think if I could get it to go in this way, then that would plug in and the cord would wrap kind of along the back of the Delta Pro in the compartment rather than wanting to hang out across the front of it. So this is my ideal location. And the only thing preventing that is that fin on there. Um, I think that is mostly for ease of alignment so that you can find your screw slots more easily. I think I can probably find those screw slots regardless of having that in there. I need to take off that fin right there so that it's below the surface of this post. Mm -hmm. 
As simple as that. Just ground that down. Modifying electrical parts and components is probably not something you want to do at home. All right, so that can go in like that. That's where it was originally. Oops, I said I want this to be in that orientation. I want this to be like that. Once you find one of them, the other two kind of just come along for the ride. All right, before I cut the end off of my cord, I just want to try this and just test that angle, make sure it's not too far over that way. Bugger's gonna come out there and lay right along the top. I think I'm gonna like that. And you know what? This cord has no purpose in life other than to go from here to right up there. If I need to reach further to a utility post at a campground I've got two other big extensions so how long do I need this really so I want to be able to plug it in from out here I think I want it about that long maybe if I can plug it in from here and then I can move that in that's just nice. Oh, that's going to be sweet. That's going to be perfect. So that's where I want it cut. It's right there. That's my spot to cut it. this all right so that needs to go that's going to plant there and about like that so i need to peel it back to about here the trick what you want to do here is slit this outer housing without disrupting the, the insulation on the individual conductors. Okay, that'll do me. Now I just gotta collar this thing. That's nice. That'll work. That's nice. So run those through there. Whoop. And where's my orientation going to be? I have green on this side, so I want green. 
just this one. That is the white. So I have green and white. Going this way, and black going that way. Because there's a divider up the middle there. There. So my white goes there. Green goes there. And I gotta make sure I'm not crunching down against insulation. I need to be crunching against copper. Tight. <clears throat> Tight. Make sure those strands are all engaged there. Now, if I did this right, this insulation will stay up in there far enough to be clamped. Okay, they're all, all threading in. This insulation is still fully captured by this clamp, so I stripped that back to the perfect extent. All right, so this is a whole lot more manageable than that great big 50 foot coil. So let's go put it in there and see how it works. Do this end first up in here. Look at that. Oh, that is so nice. Look at that. This is the plumbing vent stack that goes through the floor and up through the ceiling. One of the other obstacles this but now it comes up into the back at a very easy angle no 50 foot of extra heavy gauge wire coiling around in there taking up space and adding weight and adding resistance and sucking up electrons and all those nasty things that too much wire does in systems like this man i like that Thanks a lot for watching. PFL channel out.